Welcome to Hope Today, Reaching You Live from the studios of Messiland International Christian Center here in Johannesburg, South Africa. The message you're about to listen to right now will turn your life around for the best and your life will not remain the same again. The man of God's got some books on Amazon. A few of them are Dealing with the Giants of Destruction, The Riches of His Grace, Healing from Heaven, and Healing in His Blood. As you purchase and read these books, your life will never remain the same again. Listen, and I'll see you after the service. God bless you. Blessed be God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Set to God for your word. Let your word bless us expressly. The same power in this studio flow to all our viewers. Let it be a testament today. Touch my tongues. And let it speak as an oracle of God. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now, this morning, we Sunday morning service, we want to look on the topic Mysteries of the Kingdom. Mysteries of the kingdom. Now, most of the time, Jesus Christ's teaching was on parables, especially to the disciples. And if you check through the Bible, you could see Jesus Christ taught more about the kingdom, the kingdom of man, the kingdom of God is like a like to a man. Let the kingdom come. Most of the time, we we'll refer to the kingdom, to the kingdom, to the kingdom. And when I begin to check the scripture. I found out that uh, mis there's mystery about the kingdom. Jesus Christ didn't just start teaching in vain and uh, mentioning the kingdom. He knew what he was talking about. So this morning we're going to look at mysteries of the kingdom. What is kingdom? Kingdom, it is a country or state or territory ruled by a king or a queen. A kingdom is a country or a state or a territory ruled by a queen or a king. Every kingdom have a ruler. Every kingdom you see today, whether it's a small kingdom or a large kingdom, it will have either a queen or a king. For example, United Kingdom. United Kingdom have a queen, a monarch there. Now, one thing about the king or a queen, you don't elect them and you can't vote them out. It's not majority when you vote. Okay, it's let us vote and, and put it there. No, you can vote the prime minister, but you can't vote the queen or the king in. That's why the queen of England will, go, will stay there until she dies. Until she dies, nobody comes to the throne, not even, not even his children or his grandchildren. So a, a kingdom is, is, is a territory, a state or a nation governed by a particular individual, ruler, called queen or king. Now, let me lay background. The word kingdom came for true two world. Kings and dominion. Kings and dominion means that is where the kings rule, where they reign. You cannot enter the palace of a king and you don't know this where you enter the palace. King means king's dominion. Now, the plan, the initial plan of God when he created us, 
on earth is for us to rule as a king and as a queen. That is why it's in Genesis, it says, let them have dominion over them. It means I'll put you on earth. This is your kingdom. Have dominion, rule over them. Now, when the Bible says, sin shall not have, no longer have dominion over you, it's talking about that we have to rule over sickness, we have to rule over poverty, we have to rule over sin. We are the king and the queen on earth to dominate. It is our mindset that makes us to feel that other things can come and govern us. Sickness cannot govern you. Poverty cannot govern you. You cannot be rejected because you are a king that dwells in your domain. That's why king domino. Where you are in your house, you are the king, you are the queen there. Now watch this. No matter how a poor man is, he has his own house. A poor man can come to his house, sit down and, and cross his leg, put his leg on, 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 on the stool and all that. That is his own house. But a, 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 a rich man who will go and visit that, kid, that, that poor man cannot do that in that poor man's house. Why? Because that territory belongs to the poor man. So where you are today, you are in charge. You are ruling that area. You are, you, you are, no demon is allowed to operate where you are. So this morning we're going to look at the mystery. What are the keys to the mysteries of the kingdom? Uh, I, I want to show us about maybe a time permit of five keys that governs this kingdom we're talking about. Five keys that govern this kingdom we're talking about. So anywhere you see the word kingdom, it comes with authority. That is, that is it, to govern rules and make re, uh, legislation that govern the people in that geographical place. That is why a father can tell his family, he say in this house, everybody, this is your rule, this is your rule. Nobody sleep late in this house. You are the king of the house as a man. Nobody comes back from, from outside late. You are the kings. You make, you make a rule that will govern the family. Any kingdom they have no rule is anarchy. It will lead to anarchy. It will lead to chaos. So we have to know that one of the mysteries of the kingdom, the keys of the mystery of the kingdom is the, mis the, the mercy of God. The mercy of God is one of the keys of the kingdom that govern, govern this kingdom. It's of his mercy that we're not consumed. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. It's of his mercy that we're not consumed. The national item in this kingdom of God is mercy. We are not qualified for it, but the mercy of God qualifies us to rule. Now, now, most of the time I look at some people. You will see some girl, beautiful girls. 35 years, 40 years, 50 years praying for husband. They don't have husband. But you could see, I'm not saying they're ugly. These are people who are not, it's, I don't know how the word to use. But somehow they just have a baby, they just have a husband. My good man, good man, is of the mess of the Lord. You see some women, they will believe in God for fruit of the womb. And you see somebody who didn't even pray for, for babies, baby just come. It's of the mercy of the Lord. So one of the keys that govern this kingdom is mercy. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 20, 23. Read for me. Lamentation chapter 3, yes. verse 22. Yes. It's of the Lord's mercy it's that we're not the Lord consumed. Mercy that we're not because consumed. his compassion fail not. Because his compassion they fail not. Every they are new Great every morning. Is thy faith Hallelujah. Me. His mercy is new every morning. If the mercy is new every morning, is being renewed in your life, you should know that devil is not a factor. Everything on earth that you want to achieve, you will achieve it through the message of God. But have it in the back of your mind that don't think it is your cleverness. Don't think it's your hard work. No, it is the message of God. How can you how can you fatten it out? A man who does not pray so much is making headways. Yet a man who could fast for 100 days and see find difficult is of the mercy of the Lord. The mercy of, of the Lord is a master key that opened the door to the throne of God. The mercy of God is the master key that opened the throne 
when you see great man, men praying, the same message. Pastor Ia Deboye, most of the time, if he's get close to him praying, he, he just mess. He has no prayer point, a mercy of God. Mercy of God qualify a man to come before God. Mercy of God make man get what he did even begin for. Mercy of God make man to sit in a higher place to begin to rule and legislate. So it is the mercy of God. You can't rule out the word mercy when it comes to God's kingdom. You cannot. You cannot. Now, now, two people may commit sin. I'm going to show you. If you read uh, Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 10, that will not permit all. Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 10. Now, there are two people who committed sin there. Aaron and Miriam. Now, if you read verse 1 to 2, uh, to 10, you see there. Aaron and Miriam. Now, Aaron and Miriam, what is their sin? They were gossiping Moses. Because Moses married an Ethiopian a woman. I believe that probably the gossip might have come from Miriam. I don't know where I get to whatever I'm going to ask. And uh, Moses was with God communicating, getting God instruction how to lead the people. And, Moses, and, and Aaron and, and Miriam begin to gossip. Is it only Moses that God will speak to? Is it only Moses that God will minister to? I know that. I've come to discover that if you are doing well, people who gossip, you are people who are close to you. Hallelujah. I stand to be corrected. People who are close to you, they tend to gossip with one of people who are far from you. They say, we don't know how he makes his money. We don't know how we source it. Now, if you become so rich in where you live, I tell you, people who first of all find out the, 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 the source of your word are people who are living the same street with you. How come about is it changing cars every day? Only God knows what he's doing. How come about that everything go back in the street? He didn't want to, to come up and, and fix it. Only God knows. People from afar will not gossip you, will not judge you. It is people who will take. So, so Moses was, Miriam was his, was his sister and Aaron also was his, was, was his, uh, also his relative. Now how come about both of them, they brought Moses in the table and began to dissect Moses. And God had it. Now, where I'm going to is the message of God. I'm going to be this. God came down and said, I heard what you are saying. He said, Moses is more like other person because I speak to Moses mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. He said, If there's any prophet in the land, I will reveal to the prophet in a dream. You could read that chapter. And after that, God pronounced a leprosy upon Miriam, but he left Aaron alone. You look at it and say, is it fair? People, people committed the same crime, the same, the, same, the same sin of gossip. Go punish one. Go allow one to go. Why? It is the mercy of God. The mercy of God is the medicine of God. When a man, a woman find mercy in the sight of God, things begin to work well for him or for her. It is no longer his madness. Or his intelligence, his IQ. People say, well, it is my it is my brain. It's not your brain. I've seen lawyers, they, they can argue cases, but here they are still poor. But when mercy come upon one lawyer, he can catapult the lawyer to the top. I've seen doctors, some of the doctor professors, they, are, they know everything, but somehow they're not making way. It is the mercy of the law that will not cause you. So the mercy of the law is what we need. One of the keys for the mystery of the kingdom. Because you can't fatten it out. You can't, you can't, you can't not play the role of mercy. No wonder Black Bartimaeus saw Jesus. And he said, Jesus, that son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. He knew that one of the keys in this kingdom is to decode, to get Jesus' attention, is the mercy of God. Jesus cried, that son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus turned back. I said, what do you want? He said, that I may receive my sight. The mercy of God. I tell you, anytime you pray, before you pray, say, Lord, mercy. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy open doors for me. The mercy of God is very important. 
in this kingdom we are. Hallelujah. Number two is honor for God a man. Honor for God a man. Why do you say we should honor man? Yes, you need to honor man. Even the Bible says, if you don't fear the man you see, is it mean that you don't say that you fear? Some people have no honor for God, they have no honor for man. Some people say, well, I have honor for God, but I don't, have, I don't regret, regret man. If you honor God, you must honor man. Honor for God and honor for man. Those are the keys that open doors in this kingdom. Those are the keys that, that people don't just get to the top, just like that. Honor. You must have to honor man. That you see. You can't just say, I, I, don't, I don't need men in my life. You need men. You need men. You can't just go to God that you need men. Hallelujah. Now, now let me show you a second King chapter 3, verse 11. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you two accounts of people. One honored the man over his life, the other one didn't honor him. And what, what was their result? Hallelujah. Second King chapter 3, verse 11. Yes. But Joshua said, Joshua said, Is there not here a, a prophet of the Lord that will make of the Lord by him? Yes. And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha. Do you see that? The son of Shaphat, uh -huh. which poured water on the hands of Elijah. Did you see his CV who poured water on the hands of Elijah? Elijah. That is honor. Now, in, 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 uh, in business, Elisha was doing well. Elisha has more money than Elijah. But here Elisha humbled himself and honored Elijah. And he was pouring. Well, do you know what to pour water on his hands? Does any time Elijah want, Elijah want to wash his hand, he will just come. He does not allow, uh, Elisha will not allow Elijah to do things. If you see Elijah carrying he will just go and carry for him. Then he will pour water on his head. He served him faithfully. No wonder he got the double portion. When you honor men, you receive the reward that God has given to that man. When you honor a billionaire, for example, with not a lip service, you receive the same billion that that man has gotten. When you honor a man that is anointed over you, you receive the same anointing that God has given to him. Honor make cause to rule in this kingdom we are. Honor will make us to get to the, to the top in this kingdom we are. Honor will bring you from the back to the front. Honor. Hallelujah. Now, but, but the account of Gehazi, it was not that. If you read the account of Gehazi, he couldn't honor Elisha. Gehazi was there for what he can eat. What he can put in his belly. That is so honor. Are there not many people who are hanging around some rich men today because of what they will eat? Sacrifice. Whether the man is doing right or they are, they will just say, ah, you, are, you are the best, you are the best. They are not honoring the man because the man is right. They are honoring the man because they can it break and drop out of the crown. Geyazi, Geyazi couldn't honor Elisha. And that's why he was not qualified for the anointing. And they got leprous. How can you honor a man that you know? The, the, if you walk in the ministry, now it will shock you that people will come for prayer. Now, people, other people who are under the pastor will just corner them, say, "Bring, bring money. We're going to give to the Jew. We're going to give to the Jew." It's a lie. They are not giving the money to the Jew. They say, "Jew is free. Jews have to pray for you." No, they are not doing that. And those people will go with leprous. A man came for prayer, Geazi. Uh, it was not even Geazi that brought him for prayer. He came to see his master, Elisha. And after prayer, he brought so much money. He wanted to give to Elisha. Elisha, you know the story. Say, I don't need to go with the money. And when he left, Geazi ran after this, this great man, Neymar. He said, my master just had a visitor. And he changed his mind. He said, bring, say, give us some of this money. And he took it. You think you can deceive a prophet? And I even I it wonder, I begin to wonder those who work under a prophet. A prophet that can see what happened yesterday. A prophet can see what's gonna to happen tomorrow. You think you can deceive that prophet? No. So those of you who work under a prophet, you have to be careful. 
He said, my master just changed his mind because I have visa. Give me the money. And he brought the money. And when, the, one of the things that, when he came to, uh, to, to, to Elisha, Elisha asked him, where are you coming from? He said, your, your servant didn't go anywhere. Supposing he repented and said, ah, ah, sir, I decided to go and collect the money from, uh, from, from, from Gaius because there's a project you, I didn't tell you we need to do. Elisha couldn't have cost him. But he also lied. And then and let us say the leprosy of Neymar clip to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. He didn't honor his master Elisha. Child of God, you more honor and reverence those ahead of you. Wife, you must honor your husband. Children, you must honor your parents. If you're under a leadership, you more honor that 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 uh, that the, the hierarchy. If not, you better leave the place. Honor will make us to rule in this kingdom. Honor. Now Jesus Christ said, he, he spoke to the disciples. He said, occupy. He was delivered telling them. He said, occupy till I come. He knew they honored him. Anyone who will not honor his master will die before his master. If you don't believe me, ask a man called Judah Iscariot. He was in the ministry because of what he would eat. He didn't honor Jesus. That's why he can say Jesus. Now watch this. Anyone who will not honor his master will say his master. You either honor your master or you are ready to say your master. Anyone who will not honor his master will say his master one day. Because is there for what he can eat. So one of the keys to that govern this, this kingdom we're talking about is honor. The first one is, is mercy of God. Then the second one is honor. You must learn to honor. Then number three, favor of God. You can't rule out favor of God in this kingdom we are. He says it's not of him that rule uh, the runner, but of him that showed mercy. There are people who are doing the same, same kind of job. One is doing well, one is not doing well. Favor of God. When favor of God breathe upon you, breathe upon your hand, your hand is complete. When the favor of God follows you, everything you do, it becomes new to people. Favor of God is what we need if we must succeed in this kingdom we are. Not our strength, not our intellect, not our qualification. No. Oh God, I need your favor. Somebody say, Oh God, I need your favor. Oh God, Somebody say, Oh God, I need your favor. Oh God, I need your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor terminate delays. What they say, I will, I, I, they say, uh, the year of conquer will my victim, I will, I will replenish, I will, I will give the year back. It's talking about favor. It's not talking about returning your year back. For example, if a man who is Maybe now, 50 years. And he is supposed to be a, a billionaire from within that period of time. Now, if the law wants to restore the year of the Kangoma meeting, it's not going to add more to it. If what, if what he could achieve in maybe in 20 years, probably God wanted him to be between 30 to 50, that 20 years, he's going to make him a billionaire. God can make him a billionaire in five years. That's what I will restore the year that I can come with it. Let me give you another example. A woman who is believing God for babies. Now she's married for 10 years, no baby. I pray for a woman who are married for 10 years and God have mercy and God give them babies. A woman who are married for 10 years, for example, who believe in God for babies. And the baby have not come. If the favor of God breathe upon that woman, he will that woman will be pregnant with triplets. In one year, he will recover all. God may not, he will not be getting pregnant every because you know it takes nine months to, to, to carry a pregnancy and deliver the baby. So if God want to make her recover three years or six years, triplet will just come. And of course, you know when a woman get pregnant and after nine months deliver, she will not get pregnant the same week she 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 give her to baby. No, some of them have to wait for some months and wait for some years. But when God want favor of God is upon that woman, He will just give that woman triplet 
the journey of three times, pregnancy they need to carry three times, being in hospital for three times, going to Antinata three times, it will just go it once. That is the favor of God. Number four, we're about to round up. I love this. One of the key that govern this kingdom, the mystery that govern this kingdom, is personal encounter. When you see a man or a woman doing well in his feet, find out he sees or I encounter. What has he done? Genesis chapter 32, verse 24 to 28. Before you criticize that man that is doing well, before you criticize that woman that is doing well, find out how did, what he had an encounter with God. They're talking about Jacob. Jacob stole his belly, brother, a brother birthright, and were running. And he came to a place and he had an encounter with God. He said he wrestled with God until the breaking of the day. And the angel of God said, let me go. Say, I wouldn't like to go because now something will happen to me. He is running away from his brother. He don't know where he's going to. And he had an encounter with the angel. He said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, now your name will no more call Jacob, but Israel, a father of nature. How can you, a supplanter, a deceiver, you can't judge him again. So when you see somebody who is a prostitute yesterday and, 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 and you see here uh, preaching the gospel for a sign, that's it, uh, maybe it's magic, uh, maybe it's a marine power. Find out, does she have an encounter with God? What is her record? What is her, what is, what is her record? Hallelujah. Now, I got saved get born again in April 24, 4 p.m. 1990. I was not in the church. I was listening to a message of uh, Pastor W.F. Kumui. Now, I was playing, I was, I was not, I was accidentally, I just stepped in to begin to play the, 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 that, that message. I can't forget the title of the message is Decision Determined Destiny. And I got saved. I'm not sure that I begin to follow this man teaching and all that. But I will see the man when he's prophesying, he will, he will close his eye. He say, There's somebody by my left hand side. You are you are sick, you have epilepsy, the Lord is about to heal you. Raise up your hands. And if someone raises up his hands, another he said that that's not the person. I'm looking for you. When the person raises up, he said, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that's the hands. He will pray. And at times he will say, There's a woman here by the third row, you are wearing so so. You are believing God for babies. Anytime you get pregnant, you see an object in a dream and you lose the pregnancy. They say, now the Lord has located you. When the woman raised up, he said, thank you, and he prayed. So when I saw that, this miracles, this word of knowledge, I said, Lord, I need it. And I begin to fast and I begin to pray. Until years later, God had to begin to duplicate that he had done in the life of the Lord in my life when it comes into the area of the word of knowledge. It's not everybody who see visions and magician know. I know there are fake prophets today, but they are the genusia. I know there are prophet who sorry, fake prophet who go and get all man of things to prophesy, but I see there is genuine prophet of the Lord. Hallelujah. So find out the, 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 the what are the person have a personal encounter with God. Or no. Then lastly, seed and sacrifice. Seed and sacrifice is one of the mysteries that govern this kingdom. We are. When you see somebody, it's not a prayer warrior. It does not even be, it does not even live right like like other person that like live right. But somehow, if we if we want to enter problem, the Lord will rescue him. It's not because he's praying, because of his seed. You cannot sow a seed to a genuine man of God without a genuine man of God not making the pronouncement. Seed. Our seed open doors for us. Our sacrifice make it, it, it's, a, it's a sweet smelling flavor that goes to heaven. When you begin to key into this mystery of seed and sacrifice to God, look for a man of God and bless the man of God. Look for a ministry and bless the ministry. You will see 
that things begin to go well. Hallelujah. I, 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 it, it could be, I, I will surprise if I'm struggling in life because we've, I've, all my life is in, I've, I've been in life of sacrifice, sowing seed. Even before I get born again, I was, I was given to people, given to people. So it will surprise me now that I am rich yet. It, it will surprise me. It's not possible. It's not. Because my seed will speak, to, speak for me in the gate of my enemies. When I see people, they think they are clever. Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. But they will not give an offering to the pastor. They will not give an offering to the ministry. No. You are not doing your uh, 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 the pastor for you. You are doing yourself favor. By the seed and the sacrifice. Now, let me just share this jacket I'm wearing. Uh, it, it is it's one of my members who bought it for me. The person cannot even buy it. He can't even afford to buy the jacket for himself. He took me to, uh, to, to this boutique. He said, my father, choose anyone you want. I said, how are you going to pay for this? How are you going to pay? What now, now, sacrifice is what you cannot... Eat by yourself, you give it out to your spiritual father. That is sacrifice. And I'm not saying you have maybe you have uh, one dollar, you have ten dollar, you now give uh, uh, 50 cents to your no. And he bought the jacket. Anytime I wear I'm, I'm wearing the jacket, my spirit, my soul blesses him. He didn't go to school, but today God have helped him. Last time my wife saw her, he said, You're gonna buy a house. That is seeds and sacrifice. You cannot be too clever when it comes to God. Now, now, all these people who think they are clever, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me, without honoring God with the seed. Now, you watch this. They'll be stranded somehow. They think it's working right now, they'll be stranded. Many years ago, when we started our ministry in South Africa, I prayed for a young man who God blessed. After praying for him, God opened up for him, having tenders contract here and then. Bought, he bought cars, five cars. He never come back to the church and say, Pastor, this is a seed to the church. And to, to show appreciation, I look at him. He said, Ah, he's doing well, he's doing well, doing well, doing well. I said, Well, let him, let him just stay. Within two years, everything he acquired went down. As I speak right now, he has no house. He's squatting. See and sacrifice is one of the key that govern this kingdom we are. As I speak right now, you're going to take action in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now today is Sunday. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. Not because we have a needs. You that is watching me right now, we're going to take our offering. But I want you no matter how small the seed is, go to our website. Click, click into our website. You're going to see a place called Partner With Us. Scroll there. Click the link. You're going to ask you, what do you want to sow? It could be $10. It could be $20. It could be any, any amount. Even if it could be $2, any amount. But you're going to specify. It's going to, you're going to choose either to, to a pastor or to hope, uh, hope, for to, uh, hope today. Or to our studio, not because we need it, but because so that your seed will pound. Hallelujah. Now, you Ada, as I'm speaking right now, you can go to the website now. You can go to website www.messylandonline.com, all in one word. www.messylandonline.com. Go to that website right now. Share to a play the protocol partner with us, scroll down and make a donation, give your offering and tie it to specific needs and let's see whether this God will not surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ get your offering now, get your offering now if you are watching us online go to that website that I've just, I just said you can give through it with your Mastercard, with your visa, with your visa, or with your paper. Any nation you are, you can give. It will come to the ministry. I will acknowledge it. When you give, we're gonna, we're gonna get. We we'll acknowledge it. Thank you, Lord. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, go to that side right now. Let's prove this God. Let's prove this God. Let's prove this God. Don't withhold it. Don't withhold it. Don't withhold it. Don't withhold it. Hako sole kapana kata klanke le krupala gada. Jelekon salagabrahada. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray. Bless our offering. Bless our seed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As many that are giving online, oh God, bless them. Amen. Beyond their imagination. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Their giving is not based on the volume, but based on their heart. Amen. Lord, look at the heart and bless them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to prophesy, I want to pray for those who are believing God for miracles. The Lord is about to do wonders. Just close your eyes as I pray. Mantale come in and go so call la branang in the hiko barandes. Jelongo soki rabanon go telling grehe balagi corona mana shatter. Lord, I prophesy to everyone that believe in God for miracles. This month of August will not pass it by. It is your month of miracles. It is your month of testimony. It is your month, to oh God, of reward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Himself will fight for you and you hold your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God of heaven, we ask to oh God, release, O oh God, blessing upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, those that need healing, release healing upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm seeing a man. I'm seeing a man. You are thirty. You are 30, 37 years. You live in South Africa. As a matter of fact, you live in Israel. Israel, South Africa. Most of the time, look at you want to run mad. You want to run mad. You want to run mad. That's the plan of the devil. Kabo Shalabahash. Man Teliyo Solam Rahash Shalikedi. This person I'm talking about have three children. I rebuke that demon. That demon that turn in your brain to make you at times want to, as if you want to just leave the house and just wander away. I say, combat your senses now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Combat your senses right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not lose your mind. Amen. You will not lose your mind. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I bring your senses back to you right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for healing upon everyone that is watching me right now. Let that HIV die. Let that cancer die. Let that sugar diabetes die. Had up blood pressure die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your healing now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's somebody you're having a, a pain, you didn't carry low, but your ankle, your ankle, you look as if you, 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 you carry low that is affecting you. Receive healing right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Miracles are happening everywhere. Amen. Let us know what the Lord has done and let us celebrate it. God bless you as we celebrate your miracle. You are next in line. Please don't forget, connect with us on Thursday, 6 o'clock at African time. For the continuation of this blessing. The Lord will bless you. The Lord keep you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Shalom. Hallelujah. What a timely message. I have been richly blessed. And I believe you have been blessed as well. Like our page. Subscribe. And click on the notification bell. So that you'll be the first to know whenever a video is dropped. Our numbers are displayed. Give us a call. Send us a WhatsApp so that we can encourage you and pray along with you. There is a link below for our website. You can visit our website to send in your prayer request. Or you want to donate and partner with us as we are planning to build a studio to better serve the Lord. I want you to know that you are not sowing in a shallow ground. You are sowing in a fertile ground. And you will reap a harvest in a hundredfold in Jesus' name. God bless you until I come your way again. Be good and have a wonderful time.